Welcome back savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix this annoying error that you get when you're shutting down your PC. So you've got two options at the bottom when you get this message. It's either cancel and it'll go back to the login screen or you can do shut down anyway and it'll continue to force to shut down the PC. But it happens every time and it's happened since I installed a recent Windows update. So let's not waste any time. Let's crack on and fix this issue. So this is a closer look at the error message and as you can see it says closing app down and shutting down. To go back and see if you will click cancel and finish what you want to do. So you do have the option at that point when you see this message to cancel and go back to the desktop or the login screen or you can click on continue to shut down and then that will force shut down the PC. So the offending item in this case is this register user device problem and to fix that we need to go to the task scheduler and the way you do that you need to go into task scheduler as the administrator account. So click on the start menu and type task schd msc once you do that you'll see item pop up here don't click it what we want to do is do a right click on it and run as administrator once it opens expand the scheduler library expand microsoft expand windows scroll all the way down to device directory client and then in the center window the last item in the list is called register user device, which is the one that's popping up for us. So we're going to go ahead and disable that. And you do that by right clicking with your mouse and click on disable. Unfortunately, it's not letting me disable that task because it's saying the user account I'm operating under does not have permission to disable it, even though I'm running it as administrator. So there's an alternative way we can do it through regedit. Let me show you. Go to the start menu again, click on it and type regedit. So once you've got regedit appear at the top left hand side, right click on it and do run as administrator. To get to the task schedule area, what we need to do is click on HK local machine, go to system and then go to current control set, click on services and then we're looking for something called WPN user service. So once you've located the WPN user service key on the right hand side window, double click the start item, this one here. The value currently is 2, we're going to go ahead and change that to 4. So once we've done that, click on OK. Now this isn't going to be immediate because it's HK local machine, the PC is going to need one reboot at least. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So I've already shut down the PC and yes, you did get the same error on the first time you're shutting it down because the registry key hadn't registered quite yet. So I've logged in a second time right now and I'm just about to shut the PC down. Let's see what happens. That's just the monitor splash screen saying there's no signal to it. Looks like it's all working. And it looks like the PC screen has gone off. And yes, that's my PC switching off as well. So there you go, savages. That is how you fix this particular error message that you get when you're shutting down your machine. Like I said at the beginning, I think it's something that was introduced when a recent Windows update was applied. Anyway, we fixed it now and it doesn't look like there's been any knock on effects from disabling that key. So it's all good. It might not fix it for you, but this is just one possible solution to this error. If you have any questions about this issue, please leave them in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you savages on the next one.